シマくんが待ちに待ってた願い事言うねずっといつまでも私のこと。How's it going, everyone? My name is Mario, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Revelations here from the Craftonomical SMP. So, as you can see, that's kind of a voice crack, not really, but we have so much new stuff, new gear, and whatnot. I'm not going to show it off too much, but you guys can already see from that intro. We got an angel ring. I'm going to be showing you guys some clips from my endeavors just on obtaining everything、uh, from this episode. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some stuff. Um, is gonna be really like old, like time wise from the server. So, I have clips from like two weeks ago that、um, I'm putting into this episode. So, hopefully, you guys won't mind.、Um, if you are keeping up with the other members, they'll probably way ahead of me in episodes. Have fun with the episode. I'm gonna keep harvesting these ghosts, these ghost apples, because、uh, they're not updating when I chop down the trees. Hey, don't you hit me, bees. I'm about to get rid of your freaking hive if you. Oh my lordy. It's like a freaking PvP combo. Get out of here. Yo, they're following me. Oh my lordy. Hey, get out of here. Shoo. Okay.、Uh, we are going to be doing some mining. We need a good way to get resources and a good way to process them. So,、um, we're actually going to get some basic stuff set up and then I'm going to be actually be doing a live stream. Um, for some materials, probably. And yeah, so basically, I was speaking with Darth here, and he said, or,、uh, well, I asked him about it, and he said the drills from actually additions are actually a good alternative to Tinker's Construct and whatnot, just they don't have weapons and other tools. But this might be able to mine other stuff. He said, Can mine anything, so maybe it's good on trees and stuff too. But my guess is just ores. But it's actually pretty cheap.、Um, these take a diamond each, but we just use it with the laser here and、uh, just some iron and redstone and whatnot. But our only problem is that we have one diamond here, so <laughs> I think it's just time. To hit the mines, I repaired my Tinker's pick here just for a quick trip, but I want to make this mining portal、uh, with you guys. So, there's actually someone, everyone on the server is using、um, the mining dimension here from Aroma 1997.、Um, so, I'm gonna make some of these portal frames and make kind of a little underground portal room、uh, in our base here. So, this seems as good of a place as any. Are you guys ready? We're gonna be heading into the mining dimension here for the first time, and hopefully, it is quite cool. So, go through a portal, sneak into it. Let's, let's head in.、Um, our backpack's relatively empty, so、uh, we don't have to do like a full mining expedition here, but we're just gonna take a peek here with you guys before we start a live stream or anything. When your portal doesn't work like it used to before, and the server crashes on you. Hey, oh, rip. Oh, rip. <laughs> oh, this can't be good, guys. So,、uh, I got back in after restarting the pack, but、uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see where we respawn, guys.、Um, we'll probably respawn at spawn, is my guess, because I don't have a bed set. Yeah, but if we hit it with a slash back, hopefully, we should be back to our grave and get our stuff back here. Oh boy, we're in the ground, that's why. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, I'm really hoping this doesn't glitch. Okay, 
Now, the problem is, okay, our gravestones right here, they're just like stacked. But it's nighttime and there's a lot of people, but it's pretty much just a f super flat world, I'm pretty sure with um uh with mobs. Oh, he went through. Oh, no, he didn't. Hello. You dead. Um yeah. But I don't think it needed to it needed us to spawn the ground there. But there's actually a tree over there. Let's take a look. This is pretty cool. So there's caves and stuff. It's just pretty much another super flat dimension with caves, I'm pretty sure. Light up the area near our portal. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> hey guys, so this is like pretty much directly after I finished the live stream. And uh, we got a really great haul here. Uh, as you can see, no diamonds. But, so let's get our transfer node and pipe here real quick. Connect that up. Boom, we're getting business. And that should finish up. We're going to be getting some gold there. So we're going to put in gold next. But, speaking of gold, there's something really cool that I want to make here with you guys. <music> We're out of modifiers. Now, you we can actually go out to the smeltery, which I should in fact probably bring inside. Um, that would be a grand idea. Um, if we apply the silkiness onto our pickaxe now it's beginning to look like a pretty decked out pickaxe right um but i still want to make a drill i don't know do i want to make a drill <laughs> okay now i'm starting to uh, regret i don't know i don't know this isn't the fastest it's not the fastest it can be so i'll make the drill and compare it oh yeah i also finally got to this place without crashing which is great Oh, this is gonna be so slow. Yeah, I'm definitely making the drill because uh, 50 more blocks like this. Guys, we made it to A. That was previously named something before, but I renamed it to give you guys the element of surprise. So, um, I didn't mark it just for the, the black horse, I'm just saying. The black horse is nice, but the silk touch, right? We're getting a smooth stone. Um, the reason I wanted Silk Touch here was because of you, Skeleton. Yes, you can see it already. Uh oh, come on, go, in, go into the lava, please. Okay. Yeah, um, I really don't want to die here. This has, like, bronze on it, so if there's lava underneath, this should catch it. Four diamonds. Spin around. Yeah, oh my lord, guys. That's so cool. And then we also have like a lot of other cool blocks down here from Chisel that we can check out. But that's this. Blah, this is the important part. And the reason I needed Silk Touch is because we would have just gotten 9 diamonds. But if we bring this back to base, we can actually get 18 with our Crusher. And honestly, that's pretty worth it to me. This thing is loud AF anyway. Um, anyways, one guy I'm watching for inspiration is someone called Andrew. Um, I found him like a while back, like a year ago, because he first started his All the Mod series a year ago, and I'm watching a lot of like the mod guys from there, because even though it's like his first time playing, he freaking knows what he's doing, and runs it through real slow, real nice, and his video freaking blew up, I talked about him on stream a little, but, uh, his freaking Minecraft video hit 2 million views, which is something you don't see very often on YouTube these days, with just like random... Uh, people you find so that's super cool Eat. now we got double the power we can just put 
put it right here. Let's connect that up. So, are you guys ready? put you there for now just to get our diamond smelted that makes no sense you can't put it in a normal furnace which is the most confusing part to me because if you're to smelt that uh, it should always give you diamonds anyways nine diamonds to 18 totally worth it also a lot of you are like oh Mario it's past the holidays why you still got your winter stuff on well we have like a foot of snow outside okay guys I'm, I'm still cold I'm still cold but uh yeah, uh, 18 freaking diamonds. Uh, using a redstone torch, I turned it off to a uh, pulse will turn it on and shoot a laser. Um, what that means is I don't need a lever to stop it from shooting, but if I put three diamonds here and put a button on the side and I press the button, it will shoot the laser and transform these guys into diamond diamond crystals. Sure. are with our drill now to charge this thing because right now it is not working at all it, it's pretty much useless so we need to get a charger well some way to store power and charge it Hey, now I'm holding the drill and now it's charging. All right, that's kind of a cool way to do it. I'm doing it in actually additions way. I wouldn't know if this gets charged through any other thing. That bar is changing colors. Let's test this out. That's pretty quick. So we're gonna go big or go home and we're gonna aim for this uh, speed augment three here which takes these empowered crystals, which is pretty much our atomic reconstructed items here, plus an empowerer, which is sort of like a multi-block structure. Oh boy, this is not safe at all. Uh, so guys, for our silk touch augment here on our drill, we actually need some of these emeralds inside um, the atomic reconstructor here. So we're actually going to head on over to AZ Space to pick up some extra emeralds because he's like, oh, I got some spares because I only have two. And he should just be inside this mountain. Oh, I thought that was a little side entrance there, but... Dun, 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 dun. Oof, critted and a half. What's good, my friend? Alright, let's pass this guy some diamonds just because I'm feeling generous. Thank you, good sir. Alright, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I. Oops. <laughs> I passed him up the whole stack. <laughs> Boom, here we have our double battery and our empower. So I'm gonna go set this up outside because it will take up a little space. We have the empower here, and then we put our display stands two away in every direction. And then I believe 
Uh, that is it. All we need is to supply power to this. Drill augment three here. Um, let's get Inori crystals. So these take snowballs gray dye and button and cobblestone it's a little bit strange i have to say oh no we might be in a heap of trouble where do we get snowballs um so guys we're gonna need some snow here so we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a glacial precipitator Glacial precipitator, oh yeah. Now to get the water, I think we're just gonna be using a sink here. Yeah, it's very cheap. And boom, so we have a sink here. And pretty much what this will do, um, let's just go outside and set this up, I suppose. Um, so if we right click on this with uh, water, or with a bucket, it'll give us water. Um, from cooking from blockheads, I learned this from Danny. Shout out to you, bro. Um, you don't even need anything attached. So I believe if we get a fluid node. Okay, so now if we come outside here and we get this, actually, if we put it next to it, no, nah, it's not gonna work. So if we go like this. There we go, okay. Uh, I think it's working now. Yeah, it's filling up slowly. I have no idea what I did. But now, if we just bring out a coal generator and boom, power. We are in business and we're making snowballs. Need is a couple of these. We're gonna go with like 18. Um, that should suffice. That is a plan if I've ever heard one. So we can just go like a so instead. And all of these are now blinking with power awesome pretty much we put an item in each of these stands according to the recipe obviously in the future we're gonna be trying to automate this with like clickers and whatnot but we put the crystal in the middle and right click oh nope I think we just let it work yeah okay no cool sound effect though for some reason um, no like whatever and boom there is our silk touch augment so right click boom um i'm probably gonna you know i could go for another one of the speed threes and i want to just see how fast we can make it here and fortune three i'm really not sure how it works but uh, we can just keep adding speed threes. I have no idea if they stack on uh, I done up. goofed so I just looked at the wiki it said uh, Speed three requires all of the previous augments to be installed as well So we're gonna have to make all the previous ones. Hey, you are rather loud my friend Hello, sir. I will just take your offspring very quickly. You know, you're not very really caring for it. anyways I can take better care of it boom and take back our buckets and boom speed 2 so now we have a speed 2 and speed 1 upgrade very quick and now we should be rocking okay so now let's try that is instant literally click once if that's creative mode breaking we have attained instant break but um from the looks of it this is at um 300 instant break and then it goes down to 800 yeah it uses a lot of power especially with the silk touch and a beautiful red drill. I love it. Thinking of
Now the final angel ring. I remember in previous versions this took like freaking nether stars or something so it was like pretty late game but we're getting this in episode two guys i mean it's not super early game um because these episodes take a long time to make but takes a lot of power but boom two leather look at that bam oh lag a little bit of lag maybe oh this is the wrong lasso <gasps> angel ring oh my goodness Angel ring, we have creative flight boys, and it's only episode two. Okay, uh, we need this invar stuff for the magma crucible in order to attain uh, this destabilized redstone. And invar is not the easiest to get because it takes nickel, uh, which is pretty much, I think, one of the hardest ores to find. It spawns pretty down there. Hopefully we're not going to be needing too much of this in the future either because I'm not really bothering to make like a permanent solution to get these metals. Because um, most of the actually additions machines are relatively simple to make and they're, and they're pretty cheap as well. That's why I decided to opt for them and they're just kind of a mod I haven't explored much of. But um, here is our Electrum just chilling in here not super shiny or anything. But we have a con we have a conductance coil. And coil. there is our magma crucible. So now um, for the time being um, I can actually just hook it up back here. These um, flux ducts are doing wonders. So this is filling up. And now all I really have to do is drop off some of this excess redstone and we should be getting destabilized redstone in this compartment. We're also going to need something called a fluid transposer. I haven't made a ton of these, or I haven't made these thermal expansion machines in so long. And we need more Invar gears, no. Right now, and boom, fluid transposer. So now, a uh, little bit of lag. If Okay, a lot of lag. If we hook this up to our machine array here, we're definitely making a factory building for this. And pretty much, we need seven of these flux crystals for the chest plate. Um, so that means we're going to need a full set would be 27. So we're going to need to make 27 of these fluid transpose like redstone diamond things. And hopefully this armor set is worth it in the end. If not, it'll just be a learning experience. I'll just I'll put it that way all right guys so we kind of got this assembly line going it's gotten real messy I put the coal generator down uh, moved everything around so basically this pulls redstone from the chest gets cooked in here um, the fluid goes into here turns the electrum blend into like cool electric blend it gets melted into ingots pressed into things and then we take it out I we can make some beautiful booties now boom okay hopefully this armor is actually like pretty good and we're able to keep it for a while we don't need to upgrade or anything because this seems pretty darn good right now like we're spending a lot of work making this we did it guys after multiple hours i'd say we have a full set of nice armor now besides the chest plate because the emerald is a little bit better, but this is rechargeable and fan freaking tastic here. Um, helmet, boom, fluxed infused helm. Not even a helmet, it's a helm, guys. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know it was kind of a wild ride of crafting and shenanigans, but next episode we're gonna start making some real structures and getting stuff done. We made all this crap over the course of like a whole week. So, yeah, a lot of the other members have been doing way more productive stuff than me, so. Next episode, we're going to be on the grind. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.